All right. Hi, team. Welcome to church. It's lovely to have you with us today. I'm very excited that it's another Sunday that we, we get to be together virtually and that we get to encourage one another. Um, I've really loved seeing um, the types of ways people have connected and loved one another practically this last week. Huge shout out to all of our youth crew who loved Chrissy very well on Friday night. Um, they encouraged her and celebrated her and because she's just an awesome leader and an awesome person. And so well done. Well done our, our younger crew for doing such a great job of getting involved and actually being present and being church and being family together, even though we're a little bit separated. I've been thinking about plants. Now, I must admit, I'm not great with plants. They don't often survive for very long when I'm looking after them, but goodness, aren't they lovely? And when I went for a walk through the national park or when I look out in the backyard or when I drive to my house and see all of these wonderful flowers and wonderful plants people are growing in their front yards, it always just makes me a little bit happy. I wonder what's growing in your front yard or in your backyard or in your gardens at school. Can you have a think for a second and just think and imagine for a minute what, what is growing in your home, in your spaces, and where you like to be. Plants use sunlight, soil, water, air, and when they have all of those things, they grow really well. But you see, a plant can't make water, and a plant can't make soil, and a plant can't make clean air, and a plant can't make sunshine. It needs those things to grow, but it can't make those things for itself. There's this excellent verse in Luke. And Jesus is actually encouraging his disciples and he's encouraging me and he's encouraging you. I'm going to put my little plant down there for a second. And Jesus actually said, I want you to look at the flowers. He actually, in, in a number of translations, he uses the word, we read the word consider. So it's not just look at it, it's actually think about it as well. I want you to think about the plants. I want you to think about the flowers. And it says they don't work. This is what Jesus says. They don't work or make their clothing and no one, not even Solomon, who was known for having all of the wealth and the riches and the amazing things that, that people could own, not even Solomon was dressed as well as these beautiful flowers. And if God cares so wonderfully for these flowers that are here today and then tomorrow will drop off and fall on the ground, he will certainly care for you. You see, I think we spend our whole lot of time trying to make sure that everything's just right, just right in our life, and we worry a lot. And, and you might know the word anxious. People feel anxious about a lot of things. They worry and they try and make things work just right. But if we're to be... We're really to be considerate. If we're really to consider these flowers, we need to understand that the things that we need, the things that we need to survive and to thrive and to, be, and to live really wonderful lives aren't going to come from inside of us. They're actually going to come from God. So God promises to look after you. He promises to give you what you need when you need it. And the trick for us, what do we do when we're feeling worried and we're feeling anxious? It's well enough, Avril, to say, oh, God's going to give you what you need, but I'm still feeling worried, I'm still feeling doubtful, I'm still feeling anxious. But God actually says in the Bible, he tells us what to do with that. In Philippians chapter 4, he actually says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. We're encouraged to tell God 
what we need and thank him for all he has done. Even if there are things that we are worried about and we don't have and that we know we need but aren't here yet, we still should be thankful and remember the things that he has done. So I'm going to pray for us today. I'm going to pray. So will you close your eyes and bow your head? We do that not because um, we have to. We do that to help us concentrate. All right? So we do that for me, please. God, I want to thank you that you understand and that you know what it means to be anxious and what it means to be worried. And God, I want to thank you that in your Bible you tell us and remind us what we should do when we have those feelings. So God, as we're walking in our backyards and our front yards and going for walks in the bush or, or walking, walking through public places where there are gardens growing, help us to stop and remember and think and consider how you look after those plants, how you provide what what is needed for them to grow and how you have promised to provide the things that we need. So Lord, today I ask and I give you all of the things that I'm worried about, all of the things that we're worried about, all of, the, all of the anxious thoughts that we hold on the inside, God, we give them to you. We pray about them. Do have your way in those things, God. And we thank you for all the wonderful things that you have given us. We pray these things in your name. Amen.